Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. We wish you a very happy Halloween. Um, so today I'll be going over this week's advanced knowledge problem of the week. So for the full problem and the solution transcript, you can check the description of this video on our YouTube channel. Uh, so this week's advanced knowledge problem of the week is Halloween themed. Um, and it asks you to give the Lagrangian equations of motions for this system, which happens to be this cauldron which is traveling on a rail uh, horizontally with um, a pumpkin tied to it as if it were a pendulum. Uh, so this is a very cool problem. I really like the Lagrangian equations of motions. They're very powerful and uh, very useful. They are the key to classical physics. Um, so I really like it. Uh, the first place to start is by looking over here and seeing uh, the, each component for what it is and where it is. And so we want to find its position and velocity. The cauldron is very straightforward, so I've given that. Um, its location I'm going to describe as xc. Um, its height, it, so its position in the y direction, I'm going to give as l, because when this string is at, its, at the bottom, I've described that as the lowest point. Potential energy is zero at that point. Um, so its velocity I've described as xc dot, and as you can see up here, I've described um, the dot means the total derivative with respect to time. Um, so in addition, we have force fr, rope length l, pumpkin mass mp, um, cauldron mass mc, and also it's, um, the pumpkin is swinging at an angle. So I'm going to start by recognizing that the position of the pumpkin is going to depend on where the cauldron is. So it's going to depend on xc. And in addition, it's going to depend on how the pendulum is swinging. So um, if you know trig, you'd be able to see that L sine theta would describe where that um, x coordinate is. And we're going to do a similar process for the y coordinate. It's a little simpler. It does not depend on where the cauldron is. So as I said, I define the bottom of that pendulum swing to be uh, zero height. So that would mean L minus L cosine theta. Uh, that would give us the y position. So next, um, xp dot, that would be given by uh, taking the total derivative of the x position with respect to time. Uh, don't forget to take the chain rule, but it's very simple. So by taking the derivative and making sure I took the chain rule because it is the total derivative with respect to time, I get this, xc dot plus l theta dot cosine theta. yp, similar story. Uh, so I, oops. Uh, should be positive because you're subtracting. So I took the total derivative with respect to time. I got L theta dot sine theta. Uh, so that is basically all you need in order to solve this, but plugging it in can be a little challenging. Uh, so at first I'm going to do the kinetic energy, which is T, which is half mv squared, if you've taken a physics course. So I'm going to plug in the components for each one, and I'm going to use the respective masses, uh, depending on how they're moving, and I'm going to start with um, how velocity squared looks like. I'm going to calculate that separately, and then I'm going to plug it in. Okay, so this is uh, the velocity of the pumpkin. Uh, I've put in both the x component and the y component in here. So I'm going to uh, skip the foiling uh, put together steps and just show you what it looks like. Oh, so this is, a, it's uh, pretty simple. And this L squared theta dot squared comes in because we have a sine squared and a cosine squared theta. Um, if you add those together, they equal one um, by that identity. So for the cauldron, it's a lot simpler. Um, the velocity of the cauldron uh, only equal to uh, x dot c squared. And that's all you really need. So t is equal to half mv squared. So we have both of the masses, both the velocities. I'm just going to write it out. So here it is. Uh, next is to find the potential energy so we can find the Laplace. Uh, the Lagrangian equations of motions, because uh, Lagrangian is equal to T minus U, where U is a potential energy. I'm going to write that down. So potential energy of course, is, of course, given by the gravitational potential energy. Uh, and we have the Y heights of both of them. So this is very easy now. I'm going to now calculate L. Uh, so it is very long, um, but it gets simpler because we will take the derivative with respect to theta dot, xc, x dot, um, 
and theta, and then we'll put those together to get the Lagrangian equations of motion. So I am going to write out what you will get by taking the derivative of L respect to these. Okay, so um, you will get uh, this expression for if you take the partial derivative with respect to theta and the partial derivative with respect to theta dot. Well, from, you, from this, you can see that you need to take the total der derivative with respect to time of this. So I'll do that right now. Uh, so from this, you chain rule, you get an extra term, and then you subtract, uh, as you would up here, uh, this delta with respect, partial with respect to theta from this, and you'll get for your first equation. So that is one of the equations of motion. There's only one more, and I will solve that right now. This one's much faster. Uh, it is faster because del L respect to del XC. Well, there is no dependence on this, so it is equal to zero. I'm going to go ahead and take the der total time derivative with respect to XC and already write. And we do have to set this equal to the force of the rocket uh, because that is how the Lagrangian equations of motions work. And you'll get this for your last part. You subtracted zero from here, so that gives you the answer. This is the um, second Lagrangian equation of motion. And that's it for this week's problem, advanced knowledge problem of the week. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you have a very wonderful Halloween. Uh, if you want to see more problems of the week or advanced knowledge problems of the week, you can click right here uh, to see the playlist for that. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, feel free to click right here. If you want to visit us on centerofmath.org, uh, you can feel free to click down there. And if you are on a mobile device, uh, there should be an I in the top corner up there, and it should give you the same links. So happy Halloween again. Thank you very much for watching.